you guys welcome back we are back with another unboxing from target this is an lol surprise omg girl and i don't think i'm gonna put you guys through the torture of the unboxing part of taking her out of the package like i did last time if let me show you guys if you did not see my unboxing of this girl, my little LOL tweens, you might want to check it out. It is a long video, but it shows the torturous <laughs> process of removing one of these dolls from their package. Um, she had so many, like, I don't know, the little tabs that you have to cut, um, tape, you name it so many things holding her in her package like she was bound to that package <laughs> so check it out if you guys missed her unboxing it was a couple days ago and we are gonna go ahead and take a look at this girl but i'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and i will be right back once i have her out of the package <laughs> all right see you in a minute so I've gotten this part of the package out, out of the box, and I just wanted to show you guys one thing that I realized, because when I opened my other girl, you know the little, um, so I'm trying to do this with my holding the camera in one hand, but this part right here that goes around the waist on her doll stand, it said that there were two of those pieces. And that one just kind of was loose in the box, so I thought maybe she was missing the other one. And when I opened this girl, I realized the two little U shapes that go around the waist are on the bottom. And I think they include those just because with uh, clothing, they might need the larger one, and if you take off some layers, they can use the smaller one. So I guess that's how that works. But, so I grabbed her and I turned her over, and voila, there's the missing clip, or U hook, or whatever you call it. So she's not missing hers. I don't think I mentioned that in the video. I just noticed it after the video had ended that there was one of these little hooks on the ground. So I thought she was missing one, but she wasn't. But before I pause and finish taking her out of her package, um, I wanted to just show you kind of what it looks like when you open the box. So the brush and her doll stand are in this part, which was in this part right here. But it looks like this girl doesn't come with any surprises. So that's all she came with. Hello, Chase. <laughs> yes, hello. He, he, of course, wants to get in on the video again with his... Oh, did you see that dirty ball? His He has shredded this tennis ball, but I can't bear to get rid of it because it's like his favorite. So, ah, anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm going to pause the video again and I will be back once I get her out of the package. All right, she is free. She's free from her package. Yay. Um, so yeah, she was bound in there pretty well, too. The only thing that wasn't connected as much as the previous doll was her comb and her doll stand. They were kind of just in there, kind of held in by the cardboard. I didn't have to cut any plastic to get those out. But with her, she had her ankles, and she had tabs around her wrists. She had, I think it was something around her waist. Both of her ponytails were actually held down by plastic tabs. And <laughs> I kind of just slid her ponytails out without cutting the tabs. Um, her hair, I mean, I love the color, but the hair just looks really messy. Um, I'm probably going to have to redo some of the twists that her hair is in. And I kind of, I don't know, I don't, I kind of don't like the unevenness of the bottom of the hair. See how it's just 
I mean, it's just so choppy. Um, it's probably because it's pulled up in a ponytail, though, because it wouldn't be straight across when you pull your hair up. So I guess that's okay. But it is just kind of like you can see the lines. You can see all the choppiness. But she is super cute. Um, I love the pastel colors. And she's got little earrings. What are these? Is it like... Is it like little cupcakes or something? I know she's, or well, her name is Candylicious. I don't remember if I even said that at the beginning of the video. So of course she's gonna look sweet um, and have lots of sweets. But yeah, it looks like it's either some kind of candy or some kind of cupcake or something for her earrings. Her outfit is just like the other dolls. It's like, um, that pleathery material, so I don't know how well that's going to hold up because as I said before, um, that kind of material will sometimes deteriorate over time and it looks like her sleeves are made out of that. Let's check her little bra bustier thing. I think it is probably the same. Yeah, all, the whole, pretty much the whole outfit is made out of that, so I really hope it doesn't start peeling and fall apart over time. I probably won't really touch it much or take it off of her. I'll just keep it on her and keep her, you know, just have her displayed. I love her ponytails, her doggy ears. What do you guys call them? When I was a kid, I used to wear my hair like this all the time, and we called it doggy ears in Oklahoma. Back, back home in Oklahoma. <laughs> I loved having dog ears. But, um, but yeah, I love how she's got the little aqua or teal bangs or fringe, whichever you guys call it, and the two little tendrils that hang down in the front. And I love that her nails are polished with different colors. So she's got pink and yellow nails alternating colors on both hands. Oops. Focus. And the side of her skirt, let's see if we can do this with one hand. The side of her skirt laces up. I love the tan color too. Her skin is this nice tan. I always think that tan looks really nice with pastels. I think tan looks good with purples. Guys, it's not focusing again for some reason. I noticed in the last couple videos that my camera was having trouble focusing, so I do apologize for that. I may need to switch um, devices for doing my videos or something because I'm not sure why it's been doing that lately. But. Um, Oh, there she is and guys look at her little bag I noticed this right away when I uh, saw her box at Target and I thought that this little bunny was the cutest thing I mean it's kind of like I guess it's like half bunny and half bear which I think is really cute that's really cool um, it doesn't open or anything but it's got I don't think it does. No, that's painted on. It's got like, but it's supposed to be like a purse or backpack, I guess. And it's super cute. So it's got a little, a little puffy tail. Not really puffy. I mean, it's hard plastic, but it's supposed to look like a little pom-pom tail. And it, I don't know if, uh, yeah, you might be able to get it on her back. Let's see if it'll fit. Let's just try it. Oh, it might. You can slide her other arm without breaking it. Mm -hmm. Why do these dolls feel so fragile these days? Like... I'm, I 
assume it would be pretty easy to break them if a kid just was trying to force things. Oh, gosh, see, I can't really get it on her. Okay, maybe. Let's go all the way down. Wow, okay. And then we can slide it up. There we go. Can you guys hear my neighbors? I don't know what they're doing. I think the guys are playing ping pong out in the front yard or something, but I keep hearing them yell. <laughs> I'm surprised my dogs aren't barking right now. Okay, gosh, this is just, it's more like, I mean, it's not, yeah, I was gonna say it's not hard, but it is kind of hard. It's like tedious. I don't know what it is, but dolls these days seem like everything. Wow. Chase. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have spoken, should I? He hears them now. <laughs> All right, that worked. So, Chase, no. Come here. Come on. Come here. Sorry, guys. But there we go. Yeah, it worked. But that was tedious to get on her. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just going to leave her backpack on. It is really cute. I want to try to make some little crocheted animals. Because I do, I do knitting and crochet. I want to try to tighten this ponytail. I should not have said anything. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> I should not have said, wow, they didn't hear the neighbors, should I? I'm going to go ahead and pause again. I'll be right back. All right. I just set you down in my tripod on my chair. So let's see how that works. Um, but let me know, guys, because I, I really don't want to break these dolls. And I did some research after I opened my other one, and it said that they are, um, at least the tweens, this girl, she's, it says her legs are articulated. Now, oh, let's see if we can bend her legs. Um, because I was trying yesterday, and I, or the day I opened her, guys, I don't want to break her. And it can't be that difficult, especially if these are meant for kids, right? Um, it said something about bending it forward a little until it clicked, and then bending it back until it clicks. And I don't hear any click, and that is super tough, guys. Um, oops, I just dropped her purse. Hold on. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. But guys, yeah. No, I don't want to do it. And if it's that hard to bend their legs, I don't think kids can do it either. Let me know if you guys have been able to bend their legs. I'm going to have to watch some unboxing videos on that. And I'm going to try her real quick. No, no guys, I don't want to force it. Hold on, let's take a look at her instructions and see if, see if it says the same thing as the other girls. And this is so small, the print is so small I can't read it. I'm actually trying to read it through my camera right now. There we go, it might be on this side. So yeah, she's got all that. Okay, it shows you how to put the stand together. Um, let's just take a look. Okay, look guys. And it also says, okay, this is weird. It says their hands can come off. Okay, when removing the hands to dress the doll, pinch the wrist joints and gently pull do not pull from the fingers okay I tried that with this girl and it looked like her hand was gonna come off I mean oh focus come on okay 
So I tried to take her hand off yesterday and it looked like her skin was coming off. Like I couldn't get it off. It was like, look at that. It looks like the skin, the hand skin, and it says not to pull from the fingers, to pull from the wrist. But even when I do that, I feel like I'm peeling her skin off. And then I push it back in and I can feel it sort of click into place. So their hands are, are soft. See this, how flexible that is? And I have not been able to pull her hand out of her arm. Um, yeah, it's like, it's more like as if her, hand, her skin on her hand wants to peel off of the peg or something. And I don't think that's what it's supposed to do. Let's see if this girl is any easier because she's also got the really soft hands. But since she's bigger, it might be easier. So let's try it. Um, take it at the wrist and pull. Yeah, okay. Hers did it. So that's really cool. I didn't realize... The LOL doll's hands came off too. So hers is easy, okay? But for some reason, the little girl, my tweens, I cannot get her hands off. Let me know if you guys have trouble with that. So that's one, that's another thing that I didn't know about these dolls. Their hands are supposed to come off. And she doesn't want to stand. Let's go ahead and just lean her right there. And then let me look at the other part about the articulation. Let's see. Come on, focus. There we go. Then it says your doll is articulated, but the knee joint will need to be loosened. To loosen the knee joint, use slight force to pull the leg forward until the knee clicks. Then push the leg back and it will click again. Guys, slight force. Okay, it says use slight force. Let's try this again. Slight force to pull the leg forward. <laughs> Guys, that's not slight force. I'm using a lot of force. And it is just stiff. <sighs> nope. Mm-mm. -mm supposed to click it forward and then and then back <clears throat> guys no <laughs> she says I don't want to bend my legs sorry <laughs> so let me know about that guys that whoops and I'm dropping my camera <laughs> and not dropping my camera but I was about to lose the tripod uh, one more thing we can do is compare their size so now that they're both out of their boxes, <gasps> hang on guys, <laughs> this is hard with one hand. So we have our LOL tweens girl and we have our LOL OMG and that's their size difference. I honestly think their heads are the same size. Let's see. Are their bodies the only thing that's different? Oh, let me take her glasses off so you guys can see her face because I haven't had her glasses off since I put them on her. There we go. Yeah, I really think that their heads are the same size. They're super cute. You know, when these dolls first came out, I really was not impressed. I mean, I didn't really get into them. But they grew on me. They really did. Oops, let's take a look at the back of their heads. So yeah, I do think that their heads are the same size and it's just the bodies that are different. So have you guys tried swapping bodies? I wonder what, I mean, they're different skin tones, so it wouldn't really work with these girls, but I bet you could. I bet you could put um, an OMG on a tween's body and a tween's body on an OMG. I think you could. Are their necks the same size? 
Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried that. And I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, I didn't want to put you through the torture of taking her out of her package like I did this girl. <laughs> but if you guys don't mind seeing stuff like that, let me know. And maybe if I get another one, I will just go live and do it or um, or just let you sit through me opening her. All right. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I'm just going to let both of them be in the end shot. Because they're both cutie patooties. And I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.